Hello y'all, and welcome back to another episode of Rate the Start. We're gonna get, jump right into it. We're still doing all these same modes that we're doing. I think these are the most fun, like I said in the first one. And I'll keep going for the random leader. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna change the map mode to Fractal. I, I don't know, I just love that map mode more than any of the other ones, so. <laughs> if I'm gonna play in it, I'd like to do that, at least. Let's see how it looks. Let's see who we get. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. That's been happening a lot for me. Alrighty, it looks like we rolled the Zulu Empire, which is ruled by Shaka. They have a bunch of abilities and a district that helps them with the domination victory type. This is not my favorite type of <laughs> sieve to get. I'm not really a warring kind of guy. I usually only go to war if it's for revenge. <laughs> so if one of the AIs attacks me, I I usually try to end them. But anyways, um, looks like they get better cores and armies, and you can also get them earlier. Uh, cities get better loyalty, so it's easier to conquer cities and keep them. Also, when you conquer them, you get a core army. I'm not exactly certain about these two. Let me go ahead and jump in and I'll go ahead and see. Alrighty, immediately I can already see that this is quite a nice start. Uh, I'll probably be settling in place. Uh, this is a nice tile. These two are nice. All these are nice. The heck? That's a nice tile. This is a really nice tile. It's a 5 yield. It's all food and production. So I don't see why I wouldn't just settle in place. Uh, the only other thing I could think of is moving to go on the coast and see if there's a really good harbor here. I might go ahead and move my warrior down to see if that's the case. So I think if I move him here, I'll see this and everything else around here. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, this these harbors wouldn't be that great unless, yeah, it's not that great. Uh, Plains Hills is nice and I'll be working this tile. I get a little extra money at the beginning and then I'll try and buy the bananas and hopefully we expand to one of these sheep tiles just so we get some extra growth in this city there's a bit of mountains which kind of stinks um, hopefully it's not too much mountains we'll see though just settling in place all right let's see i wanted to see what my district does a district unique to zulu which replaces the encampment provides plus one housing once the civic or technology prerequisite is met, core and armies can be built outright, faster, and core army creation. So I understand this one, but I'm not entirely certain about this. Does that mean we don't need to build the buildings to actually upgrade them? Uh, anyways, I'm not really certain. The Impi is a medieval era unit that replaces the pikemen. Increases flanking bonus, low cost, and low maintenance. Earns XP faster. So basically, we're trying to set up for like a medieval era, just destroy another empire or something. Let's see. So if it takes over the pikemen, that's going to be on the top part. It's right here, military tactics. And that's kind of nice because it doesn't need any special resources. Yeah, anyways. um, What can we improve around here so we'll probably want to get a camp here and maybe pastures here we might also just uh harvest these bonus resources i'll think about it though let's go ahead and go for animal husbandry first let's go for the scout let's see what we're working yep that is correct that is a, what we want to do <laughs> 
You know, the other thing I'm thinking of is maybe I should have moved to the coast anyways, just so I can move, uh, fit another city on this river. So that isn't great. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to find another source of fresh water, because this river ends right here. Uh, that might have been a mistake, but I mean, you want a good capital, so it's like we got some jade some furs. That's a lot of different uh, luxuries. It's nice if we're definitely going for domination. You want as many different luxuries that you don't have to trade for. There's still no amazing um, harbors quite yet. So I'm not sure about settling on the coast. Uh, I should start bringing this guy back. I think I'm going to start making the settler here, and I should have this guy as for protection. Mm -hmm. going to go ahead and move this way, and then I'll start running back. Uh, do I have enough money? I had enough money to buy that tile, actually. I should have did that. Two more turns. Yeah, whatever. The earlier, the better. We're working that tile already. Nice. Uh, let's start going inland. Alright, now I have to get the tribal village. <laughs> let's see, what else can I get? Maybe I'll get the slinger, actually. I can't even go for the settler anyways. Okay, it was just gold. That kind of stinks. Um... So we got the Void Singers. I'll go ahead and keep that uh, governor title. Oh, I mean, if I'm going for domination victory type, you want the vampires, right? So, don't want that. Oh, wow. That's interesting. The Venta's pretty far away, and yet we haven't found another. Uh, he, he hasn't met another Civ, so that's. Very interesting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is a standard map size. So if no one met him, I might actually just want to, yeah, I'm gonna be scouting to the south with this guy. That way, uh, in case there's any more city states down here, I can probably meet them first as well. Oh, no, Welcome there we are. The there's States the United States. If you can... We're on the same continent. What the heck? <laughs> Why are they building up so much? Okay, let's start to retreat. Okay, they're coming down here to attack Washington, that's why. Okay, it looks like we do have a neighbor to the south. They actually have Preslav. Uh, with one envoy in it. Um, I have enough money, let's send a delegation. And I didn't see if we're in the same continent. Should be. Pangea, yep. So he should like us off the bat. No, we're not at war. Oh, anyways. <laughs> oh, the first impression's always negative. I don't know why. But at least it has been for me. Has he chosen any secret society? Not yet. Checking that in case things go south relationship wise with him. I might want to just get the same uh, secret society as him just to improve our relations. Alright, now I need to start deciding where I'm actually going to be settling. Uh, the nearest fresh water is down here, right next to the camp. <laughs> this is an amazing tile here. Um, there's another one. There are plains hills I can settle on over here. I might want to just settle like here, maybe. This isn't so bad. I'm gonna get an amazing camp. Get some furs early on. Uh, it's pretty safe. Uh, there aren't that many. Well, I mean, this is gonna give me three luxuries early on, right? That'll give me some money when I start uh, meeting other civilizations. I also might just want to go south as far down as I can just to try to start cutting off Teddy from expanding into me. 
We'll see. I don't even have the settler yet. Sending this guy to the right. Maybe there's a better spot over just better spot over here. This is a Plains Hills. Let me see if there's a good um, harbor uh, here somewhere. Looks like there's a good campus right here. That would give plus four adjacency. Okay, yeah, his military strength is pretty lackluster. It's probably because he's been fighting these guys. So I'm not too worried. About getting bodied by him. <laughs> All right, I'm definitely gonna settle over here first. I'll probably go for a builder after this. I'll get the truffles. I'll get the furs, and I'll get the jade. We still haven't chosen our uh, secret society. Has he? He's actually chosen Sanguine Pact. Did he destroy this? No. So it looks like he's been fighting two separate barbarian encampments. It's unfortunate for him. Eh, he's doing pretty good though. Let's go for our first builder. And I'm going to come down with the slinger. See if I uh, can start making any progress on the barbarians over here. Okay, it looks pretty quiet actually. They must have all gone down to attack Philadelphia. It looks like it's doing well though. Um... I'm going to wait for some backup before he starts trying to go in there and attack. Maybe I can go over here at least. Oh well, that's kind of... I'm going to try and plug him here. That's such a really good defensive spot to attack from. I feel like I'm taking a little too long on this. I'm just going to go for Divine Spark. I think that's good. I mean, just getting ahead in science and culture is nice. <laughs> That can help me out in that in that regard. I want to get a granary here, but it looks like I needed to. Actually, I probably should have went for this tech earlier if I knew I was going to be settling on the coast without uh, fresh water. It's definitely a mistake. And I'll go for a slinger. Kind of scared of this barbarian encampment. We also have zombies that might pop up at some point. Let's see, what are we working? I'm gonna switch over to this uh, sheep just so the city maybe grows a little faster. All right, looks like this place is completely abandoned. <laughs> well, Teddy did a really good job just pushing everything back. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and disperse this. Uh, really quick, I sh should probably think about, do I want to buy a unit from them? Do I want to hire a warrior? It's cheaper than buying it from one of my cities. Okay, I think I'm going to go for one more settler here. And let's go ahead and hire one warrior. You never know with the AI. How, how, how much does he not like me? Probably doesn't like me a lot. I don't know. He's pretty close to having a good opinion of me. Nice. Okay, I don't think I need this then. Let's go ahead and just raid it. Should I raid it or should I disperse it? Raiding it is going to give me money. I can raid it and then disperse it. I have a warrior incoming to help me out with this. Let's go ahead and raid it. Next turn something will pop up here and I'll kill it again. I also do need right, to kill three barbarians to help out with bronze working. So. This will be nice for that. I have a lot of money. Uh, I'll probably buy the granary here. Or maybe I should just buy the monument in my capital. I can also buy a builder. <laughs> so many decisions. So many choices. This is nice. This is a good start. I'm going to go for the monument. I need to get my culture up for sure. What, 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 what was that? <laughs> that sounded scary. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Whatever. Uh, I can attack here and get on there. And I can disperse it. Alright, let's go for the furs. And then I'll go for the jade. Let's see if he'll actually trade at this point. What would you give me? Six gold a turn and two right now. 
It also help our relations. They'll be less likely to declare a surprise war on me. As far as this, uh, yep, I was gonna buy a beautiful monument. This is nice. This is a good start. I think I'll stop at 35. Um, and I'll leave my units. I'll probably leave these units down here. Uh, just to scout out and see if uh, America is trying to expand into me. What are we doing here? It's got the culture. Not too worried about this thing producing stuff right now. And like I said, it would be nice to get some extra culture going. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> This is only four turns now. So what are we looking at? We're about to bump into our population cap. So I'm gonna take one of these guys off and we'll start working this. All right, um, let's go to turn 40. I'm having fun. <laughs> Plus I feel like I haven't been playing for that long. Oh man, I'm gonna get into a dark age. Let's go ahead and get open borders. That's another way to get good relations. Jeez, Teddy has 244. Strength. Oh, um. Oh, what? I can't go for the Sanguine Pact? That's weird. Alright, and like I said, I think I'll probably go ahead and settle here. Next. Um, I'm a little too scared to settle near America. And he's starting to like me. I'm gonna be able to get open borders here soon. I can get. Oh, I, I can't get this one Sanguine Pact right now, right? Wish I could. How are our relations? Our relations are getting better and better. He's gonna like me soon. Now I can't take the scout that way. Need to make sure our settler can't get taken out. Okay, let's go for the granary. Could also go for the Akanda. That's not gonna take long at all. Where would I put it? These are all really good tiles. I mean, I should definitely put it towards Teddy, right? Let's go ahead and do it here. I'm gonna get rid of a, what is this? A rainforest, but I think it's, I think I should put it here. Plus this gives me housing, right? So, sorta of works like the granary. <laughs> and it's gonna help me boost that one civic. Wait, where, where am I taking this guy? I don't know. I should probably take him down here. Ah, oh, darn it. He already got St. Louis. Let me see. Where can I settle? I can still settle here. Um, this is actually not a bad spot to settle. Um, I think I need to do that. If I do that, I should probably go for archery. Sailing. I'm not going to have a builder for a while. Go for archery. This is going to be done in two turns. You're going there for sure. So we should be good here. I don't see any barbarians. I don't see anyone who would be able to take my stuff. Yeah, we're going into a dark age. That's another reason not to settle here. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, if we're having trouble in terms of loyalty, we can just uh, switch over. We can just switch um, a governor into it. Whoa! <laughs> okay, time to turn around. Uh, it looks like war is coming. Let's see, we don't have barbarian problems anymore. Did we? What are we doing? We're building the Akanda. Should probably get something like. Uh, so plus one production here, and then we're gonna want. Probably going to be building units in my city center after this turn. Let's go for military tradition. Okay, we're out of the woods in terms of getting a dark age. And I'm going to go ahead and keep my slinger here. Well, let's move this one down here. And then I'll move this one over here to try and make it even harder for him to come at me. 
Your people are lazy and unworthy. Whoa, that's messed up. <laughs> the heck? Okay, he might just go to war with me, so let's go ahead and keep this guy on here. Uh, and this guy's trying to keep them from getting too close to that city. Oh, I can't do that. This guy needs to start moving up to try and help them, I mean, stop them from getting into place. They can't move through me here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab Amani. I'm getting a little scared. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Let's put him in Leventa. In five turns, if I get the cleared, I'll have some extra backup. In five turns. <laughs> There's that. Yep, here we are. Here's the war. Looks like I've been surrounded over here. That actually really stinks. Surrounded over here as well. Well, not exactly. I'm going to back up, though. Uh, yeah, this guy's dead. <laughs> I'll go this way. Either way. At least I'll drag a unit back. Okay, I'll put the scout there, I guess. That guy's dead. For some reason, he's just... I shot an arrow my dude. <laughs> Just plus four combat strength. Plus five... Combat strength at home continent. Holy moly. <laughs> he gets bonus for just being on his home continent. Gotcha. That's not good. Um, he's going to be useless then. Uh, I need this archer. Archers are good now. I can make an archer. Let's do this. He's in a district. But he wasn't the one that was upgraded. It was the guy who died. Darn it. Is there anything that would help me out in this war, science-wise, that's that fast? I don't think so. Maybe I can embark and just run away. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get a warrior on this side. It looks like Leventa has quite a few units. We might be able to distract them for a little while. Alright, I've been playing this for way too long. <laughs> um... Alrighty, I, I like this server a lot. Uh, it kind of stinks that I had to go to war. I don't know if there's anything else I could have done to prevent it. I know I could have prepared a little bit better. Could have backed away with this slinger and not lost it. That would have been really good. <laughs> An extra archer over here would have made this a lot easier. And also this. There's already two units over here coming in to attack me. Um... I think other than that, I think getting Amani late was right. Like, saving that up was good. I mean, this is a good start. Uh, would be better if I could have avoided this attack. And if I knew how strong Teddy was. I mean, plus 5 against me is uh, pretty insane. I mean, he already has plus 4, right? <laughs> oh, well, he has Oligarchy already. I'd probably be dead if he had... What is it? No, Oligarchy is the one. Plus four combat strength. Holy moly. So these guys are basically swordsmen, aren't they? They're almost swordsmen. That's stinks. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Why'd I spawn next to Teddy? Jeez Louise. Okay. This is... This might be worse than I thought. Um, so, I mean, at the beginning, you know, whenever I first settled, like, just for the short, I probably say it would be like 4, 4.5. I mean, you have really good tiles next to you. Uh, might have been better if I settled on the coast just so I could have fit another city here or something. This is my only source of fresh water. So, yep, and he's already settled even more closely to me. That stinks. But anyways, I think I'm doing fine. Uh, at this point, I'd probably have it at a 4. I mean, right, 4.5 at the shore four now because I'm at with Teddy and dying. Well I guess technically I'm not dying but you know there's the possibility. He's very strong at this moment. Maybe it's a 3.5 because I'm next to Teddy. <laughs> uh, definitely not getting that Sanguine Pact really hurt us. I think if I could have gotten that same secret society as him I think that's plus seven uh, relationship. So that that would have helped out a lot. How many more turns before peace? Three more turns. 
I mean, if I cut down, if I delete all these warriors, he might go for peace. He might not. We'll, we'll I mean, we, we won't see. I'm not going to play like this anymore, but, <laughs> but I think, I think this is good. 3.5 at least, uh, maybe even better if I can stabilize this, stabilize this war and keep going into science and culture. The 4.5 for the short and a 3.5 now. Thanks for watching y'all. Have a good day. <laughs>